Welcome back. So, have you been writing your list so far? <laughs> you know, taking, keeping track of the things that you've been learning? Um, if you haven't, maybe you can shut it down right now, this video, and go back and just make some lists for yourself. You ready? Okay, so let's keep going. So, the next characteristic of the well-living workplace is culture of lifelong learning. Where formal, informal, and incidental workplace learning occurs, it encourages benefits for each person personally and collectively. So, culture. Culture is about human interactions and the artifacts that result from those interactions. So even as a solopreneur, you create a culture, just like a Google creates a culture, just like the World Bank creates a culture. Every organization creates a culture, from nonprofits to profits to government organizations. And it goes so far as that you actually get cultures inside of the bigger organizations, down to departments, into groups and teams. So culture is another thing to pay attention to as you're looking at your well-living workplace. So again, culture is about the human interactions and the artifacts that result from those interactions. One of those actions that you can take that really supports you is lifelong learning. I'm, I'm sure you've heard a lot about this over the years. To continue to learn, because as you get older and you're learning, it keeps things moving. It keeps you enjoying life. It actually gives you health benefits. So this culture of lifelong learning is so important to the well-living workplace. The other aspects of this is that there is formal learning, which is that which you must do. There's informal learning, those things that you take up and you go learn that may have a sort of a sideways contribution to what you're doing. So for example, maybe you formally have to learn how to use the word processor, your computer and you're not using one of the programs very well. For some people, taking an informal basket weaving course is another way because what it does is it teaches you patience and it gives you some sense of how to follow instructions. So formal, informal learning are important. But there's another very powerful one where you gain a lot of insight and that's what we call incidental learning or situational learning. And that's happening every day in every way around you. And as you're creating your well-living workplace, what is it that you can learn that actually supports the growth, this win-grow success of your business? And that's why journaling is so important, keeping track of what those insights are as you move forward. Because what's happening is, is that you are benefiting the individual personally, but you're benefiting the collective. And when you can weave that back and forth, then everyone benefits from it. So I encourage you to get involved with lifelong learning, bring lifelong learning elements into the well-living workplace as you get staff, but also yourself. Are you reading a book a week? Uh, are you reading, uh, watching a video series like this one? What are ways that you can continue to grow and build a culture that encourages that with all the people that are working with you. So that's it for that characteristic. And what we're going to do next is we're going to work with the contribution to society characteristic.